a reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remain faithful to that which you have learnt and believed, because you know from whom you have learnt it, and from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction and for training in righteousness. So the one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. I charge you in the presence of God who will judge the living and the dead. By his appearing and his kingly power proclaim the word. Be persistent whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Think about those challenging moments in your life, especially dealing with those who may not necessarily share our faith, beliefs, opinions, or tradition handed down to us from the apostles, our early fathers. I remember dealing with my friend James, who refused to believe that Christ was really present in the Eucharist. How challenging it can be, if not nagging and disturbing. But Paul's letter to Timothy is asking us a very simple question. Where does our treasure lie? Where does our treasure lie? Our treasure lies in preaching the word of God. But we live in a world where the word of God has lost its true meaning or has been rejected completely. We witness people turning to the evil, the evils of abortion, terrorism or human trafficking to name a few. But like Timothy, we are aware of the importance of the sacred scripture and the role it plays in our Christian life. Paul proceeded by telling Timothy, proclaim the message be persistent whether the time is favorable or unfavorable. Brothers, indeed, those who have led astray from the word of God may be defiant, but it's okay, it's all good, because it's our obligation as Christians to preach the word of God for the building up of the kingdom. Patience, courage and endurance will be required despite resistance hostility and defection of the many to whom the message has been preached. Paul urged Timothy to be eager to take advantage of every opportunity to preach. We must also be passionate in our word and actions for the building of the body of Christ. Brothers, we need, not, we need to get out of our comfort zone and interact with people and teach by example. We must recognize that God called us to evangelize whether our preaching is accepted or not. For it is through us that the grace of God manifested by the Spirit in this world. We are to be courageous and bold in proclaiming Christ. Our brother Aquinas once said, The act of courage is to endure and withstand dangers. Whatever may come our way, be steadfast and persevere with the utmost patience in teaching. As preachers, these words from Paul to Timothy, teaching, correcting and training are not just important, they are necessary. These descriptive words are precisely that which we are called to do, to witness to the truth. Our society today is in dire need of the word of God to be preached. We can't afford to be lagged in our zeal to teach, preach and correct. Remember, it is by God's mercy that we are engaged in this ministry. For we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up. The next time we celebrate the sacred liturgy, let us ask God to grace us with the gift of perseverance, patience and courage so that we can offer our treasure which is preaching God's word whether it be in the pulpit feeding the poor teaching 
or being patient with those who don't believe.